Massive three points tonight, Ian. How important was it to get the victory and end the winless run? Yeah, I, I think you know you just when you like I said, I don't think he's been playing bad, but you don't get the the wind that you think you deserve, and what have you. It's easy for the players to to jack it in a little bit, and uh, we've not done that. And tonight, I felt we got our rewards. And you know, I'm not saying it, it was a brilliant performance; we wouldn't, but we battled. We had a little bit of luck go our way, which we haven't had the last two two games where they hit the bar. Um, and they've hit the post, even though it was a freak like Toby's got taken up when they hit the post, it should have been a freak to us. But apart from that, you know, we've defended like properly. Every player in the team's put their body on the line for the for the calls. Um, and, and you know, I'm, I'm really, really pleased because it's you know, it, it, we, when you get on a certain amount of points and you don't you play well but don't get results, it does pile a little bit of pressure on. So hopefully now we, you know, we, we still ain't safe, but hopefully now we can play a bit more relaxed and hopefully get some, um, you know, and get some more points on the board. Um, a rare clean sheet picked up tonight, only your second league shutout of the season. How pleased are you with that? Yeah, yeah, that hurts a little bit because it's uh, me and Tucky being defenders. We take you know a lot of pride in that. Um, but you know, this league is is unforgiving. It's a real difficult league. You can see tonight. You know, they got quick players, you know, pacey players all over the park, and they, they ask questions of you. Um, you know, we I spoke the goalie for for the game, Josh. You know, because Josh has been doing all right, and and he's not had much luck tonight. You know, he's had a bit run his way, but you know, he's still when he's called upon, he's pulled a few, uh, made a few saves. Um, but it, it's massive. You know, we we if we can keep you know five six more clean sheets for the end of the season, we we'll be safe. Um, Joe Keane back in midfield today. Did he give you an extra bit of bite that has perhaps been missing in his absence? Yeah, yeah. Joe's a massive player for us. Um, he, he, you know, he's he. he, he He's probably, um, you know, he's, he's a bigger player for, there is for, in the league for the probably, but you know, the star man as such, you know, he, he does so much good work for us, um, not just with his defensive work, but he can pop up for a goal, um, and he's an intelligent player. He's been around a long time now, and uh, we've missed him. We have missed him in there. That's not only going anyone else, but you know, I think Joe's top quality, and uh, having him there reassures me. And I felt later on when the game became a bit scrappy, he, he broke up loads of loads of play and took the sting out of the game for us, and uh, you know, really pleased with him. Um, Lee Harding at right back, he's filled in there when needed for you. What was the thing behind that today? Yeah, we just wanted to get Joe back in the middle of the park because you know we, f we felt playing Joe at centre half, it's, he can do a good job there, but we miss him in the middle of the park. So we did that, and I, and I you know, it, I thought Lee Harding was brilliant at night. You know, to ask him to go right back, he's only played a handful of times, um, and when he's been there, he's, I think the three or four games he's played, he's been man of the match quite a few times. So it, it's another, it's, it's, it's another string of his bow. Um, I think any player, if you can play in a few positions, it help you out. And I think we asked him to go. He didn't grumble or nothing. He's made the goal, um, and he, he's been a massive part of a clean sheet tonight. Um, on new signing James Fraser, what's he going to bring to the side? Yeah, James is a quality footballer, and um, I, I felt even like obviously put him on for the last 15, 20 minutes, whatever it was, and. Uh, when he did get the ball, he looks a threat because he's, he's a, another. You know, he's a good footballer. He's been he's been at a good level. Um, he's sort of playing one at this club, um, and he's willing to work hard. And uh, you know, we asked him to play out on the right, and he's not ideal position. But you know, we just want to get safe, so people have to put in shifts in certain areas. And, and I think he's a real big player for for us for our team at this football club. A um, couple of players missing today. Obviously, Andy Pearson missed the weekend as yeah. well. Uh, Sam Gargan wasn't here today. What's, what's up with that? Yeah, here? Sam's a bit of a bad back. Um, we don't know where he is. I'm. He's going to see some this week. Um, but he, you know, he, in my own mind, Sam's going to be out for two or three weeks. So I've not, you know, that's where we are with it. Um, Pearson maybe could have played him, not I'm sure. So we've left him, um, and hopefully he might be involved Saturday. If not the following Saturday, we we we'll, we'll take a look at that on Saturday morning. See how we feel with him. Um, I say Ollie Rowland and, and Dan Perry are out for another month, so we, we you know we are a bit bare bone. That's why James has come in, as well as he's a, decent, he's a really good footballer, you know. So we're still looking to bring one, one or more, one or two maybe in now because we just a little bit bare bones in the squad. And finally, looking to Saturday, you're playing Wingate and Finchley. They're another side like um, Enfield, <laughs> sort of mid table. Does this result tonight give you? Bit more confidence going into that game. Yeah, because every game you go into, you you know, if if you keep not getting results, drawing or losing, it the pressure mounts. I mean, even though we we ain't in, in a like a you know two three points away from the relegation zone, you, you feel every time you don't get a result and someone gets one, you, it's another nail in your coffin. So yeah, we can go there Saturday now. And we've just said to the players, don't undo the good work tonight. You know, if we get something Saturday, this would be an even better result. You know, whether it's a point or three points, you know, we'll be looking to get somewhere, something there. Um, you know, they're another side who are, are, are decent, so it'd be another really difficult game. But if we apply ourselves, you know, I'm sure we'd be fine.